so hi guys and happy new year i hope you all are well and i wish you a happy prosperous life and a joyful life ahead so it's going to be a very short video uh, in this video i'm going to show you how you can configure outlook uh, for your carbonio community edition email account basically whoever uses third party apps like outlook or mozilla thunderbird or something else uh, they can follow these steps and configure it so okay let's do it so for let me open my outlook okay so this is this is my outlook so right now i can add account from here or i can add account from the control panel like let me show you this is the control panel this is my control panel and from control panel here is the mail and if you click the mail and i get this and from here i can create email accounts i can add additional data files multiple data files so yeah whatever you like you can do it so okay let's add an account from here searching for accounts okay by the way i want to do it manually so let's click it manually uh, by the way let me let me uh, let me open okay so i'm going to configure this account into my outlook okay fine now let me send a test mail just for a reference let, okay first test for outlook test send okay it has been sent let me reply it so that i get a mail that i can use as a reference and let me wait yes i got the mail uh, received. received by the way let me know in my comment section what kind of topic you want you want to see frankly let me say this is kind of an educational channel so there's nothing fancy here i just try to convey what i know what i read to you guys i try to read different different blogs and collect information and try to share it to you so uh, if you wanna see this kind of content just i would like to request you to subscribe many of my viewers don't subscribe i would i would request them to subscribe because only the subscription can give me enough motivation and drive me to create this kind of things so besides my regular work i can do this so just please subscribe if you like whether you like it it's like it you can you can argue me on the chat on the comment section and yeah we can bring forth an a healthy conversation and over the time maybe i will add some 
diversity in the topic so yeah okay i have replied let me refresh it okay so you can see uh yeah i received let me minimize it email address my email address is sharif at the rate latest server dot xyz connect that's why i prefer adding the account from the control panel rather using the settings of the outlook why i'm going to show you why just give me some moment okay it's adding let me see if i have entered the email account right sharif at the rate latest server dot xyz okay it's taking way too long time okay now it gave me the option i can choose pop or imap imap is kind of pretty much easy but i want it as a pop so here are the here are the information for incoming mail outgoing mail and all the other things then i will hit next and it will configure it using this setup the problem is whatever settings i input here i can't test them before saving it so it's kind of not my actual preference i don't like this this way rather i would like to go through the control panel okay let's go to, go to the control panel mail then the email accounts new manual setup next pop i map next your name what will be my name okay my name will be sharif okay then email address email address is sharif at the rate latest server dot xyz latest server xyz pop okay mm, the email the incoming server is mail dot this one all copy then the same one and the password okay now go to the more settings general it is completely okay outgoing i i'm using the same smtp as a outgoing server so i check this one then the advanced here i'm using the port number let's say 993 outgoing 465 let's click this one and uh, auto uh, these are your preferred options you want to leave a copy you can do it or if you don't want to leave a copy you can do it both are fine now okay now the advantage of this way is I have saved it but actually before implementing this i can test the settings if i click test it will show me whether the settings are working or not it says incoming completed now it is trying is trying to send a test message if it fails i can see and read the error so that i can take necessary steps to correct that so okay let's just wait it may take some time because uh, my public vps is in a different region and the latency and the network connectivity is quite high uh, the network jitters and all the other things are quite high that's why if i ping my server i will get much higher latency time so that's why 
uh, it takes more time so yeah that's a different thing so and it says waiting connect waiting for response time sending SMTP servers so the waiting time was too high okay mm, let's see uh, outgoing server 465 okay let's do it 5 or 7 by the way uh, I think 465 is a deprecated port uh, you should not use 465 anymore it has been deprecated so just go for 587 okay the setting is completed so next uh, sorry next again it will do the check and it is completed then close my server is ready and if i do a send receive let me show you something it will give me a warning here let me yeah yes so it is processing and as you can see it faced all the email addresses now these email emails are saved in my these emails are saved saved in my local computer as i am using the pop protocol so yeah this is the thing that i want to show it to you uh, you can use the IMAP also for IMAP you need to use different ports that you can find just search IMAP port information you will find lots of information so this is how you can configure your outlook so maybe in another time I will show you how you can configure the Thunderbird or uh, maybe something else so that's the guide that's it for today uh, you're all set okay mm, close close that's it for today thank you so much and i wish you a happy new year and thank you so much please take care thank you bye bye